So a parallelogram is another of our quadrilaterals. And we want to work out the area of the parallelogram this time. So we've got a parallelogram. You can see there it's got two pairs of parallel edges and they're normally marked on with arrows. So the parallel edges um, on the top and the bottom are marked with a single arrow and then we have a double arrow for the other pair of parallel sides. Now the parallel sides are equal to each other and the opposite angles, so this is one pair of opposite angles, they're equal and this is another pair of opposite angles and they're also equal. Now if I was to draw in a right angle triangle at one end of my parallelogram and then shift it to the other end, you can see that I've created a rectangle. And I know that the area of a rectangle equals the length times the breadth. With a parallelogram, we refer to the length of the parallelogram as the base, and we refer to the breadth of the rectangle, it's the height of a parallelogram. So the area of a parallelogram is the base times the height, and it's the perpendicular height or the vertical height, it's not the diagonal or sloping side. So our formula for the area of a parallelogram is A equals BH, or base times height. So here we've got an example. We want to calculate the area of this parallelogram. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down our formula. So we've got area equals base times height. Now, you can see on my picture of my parallelogram, I have three different dimensions. I need to make sure that I use the correct dimensions. So the base is easy to identify. It's the length of the bottom or the base of my parallelogram. But the height that I want to use has got to be the one that's at right angles. So that's vertical or perpendicular to my base. So I'm going to use the five centimeters. I do not want to use that four centimeters over there because I do not want to use the sloping side. It's got to be the right angled height. So this is my height here, the five centimeters. So I'm gonna substitute that in. So area equals 12 multiplied by five. And that gives me 60 and my units were centimetres, so my area will be 60 squared centimetres.